is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here we're going to talk about scream 7 in this video here again today so variety put out this report to let us know that courtney cox still has not signed on for scream 7 now before i get into that part of this article i want to just go through everything she stated she started off here by talking about david arquette and possibly getting him back for scream 7 she says that well, it says Dewey, David Arquette's beloved Scream character, may have been killed off in the fifth installment, but Courtney Cox is hoping he can somehow appear in Scream 7. She says, I understand the reasons they did it, but whoa, talk about a missed character. Dewey is so loved by Scream fans, they have to figure it out. And then goes on to say, turns out Cox has yet to sign on for Scream 7, as I guess it's from the same author, because they say, as I first reported in March, Cox began talks to reprise her role as Gail Weathers in the seventh installment of the franchise, following the announcement that Nev Campbell will return after skipping six due to a salary dispute. She says, I'm not officially signed on. I'm not, but there will be a Scream 7. It says not that Cox doesn't want to do it, because like I've stated, I've heard that she is down to do that. I heard that back in February. She says... She's excited that the film will make or will mark Kevin Williamson's first time directing a screen movie. Says you can't get better than that choice. Cox said of Williamson, it's going to be fun. She also talked about the timeline in mind for making a final decision on the movie. She said they're rewriting all the time. It's not like I don't know what's going on. So I will say that the fact that she doesn't know of a timeline <laughs> isn't necessarily too much of something i want to look into i i think it's just coming down to more so she probably knows more than she's letting on she knows more than she's letting on when it comes down to this timeline she's probably still knee deep in negotiations and trying to finalize whatever it is she wants when it comes to her return as gail weathers i will also point this out though there's a strong possibility that perhaps what's going on is that they're trying to work out a story in which instead of it being led by Sydney and Gail, maybe we just get a story that's centered mostly on Sydney Prescott and whoever these group of kids are. And Gail Weathers, of course, will still be there, but maybe Gail actually has a similar role, just possibly stronger than what she did in five and six, but still kind of in the same vein, but maybe more impactful, if you will. I think that there could be something going on behind the scenes where they're trying to now work out something in which Sydney is the priority, her kids, what's going on with Kincaid, and then the new crop of young stars that are going to be leading this story. And Gail, while she still will be there, if she was going to be the lead along with Sydney, like what's been talked about in the past, that's changed. And Gail will just be a supporting role, just like she was in five and six now i get that a lot of people seeing these comments think that that means that this film is in turmoil and all of that and i can't blame you the fact that we are kind of just dangling our feet with this project i can't fault you for thinking that this movie seems to be in turmoil it's a reasonable conclusion but looking at her words it's also quite possible that she is just still deep in negotiations and letting them work out whatever it is they want to work out as far as Gail's concerned, present it to her, let her decide if she agrees with the presentation of Gail, work out whatever money she wants, and then they'll bring her in. Because I put up this video second just to kind of give some leeway or kind of use the last video I uploaded with Freddie Prince Jr. as kind of like a crutch. Freddie Prince Jr., according to what Variety had been telling us, or at least what the reputable trades have been telling us, Deadline included, I think Deadline was the first to report it. They had been in negotiations with Freddie, if that's true, since last year. Now, granted, there was a strike, but <laughs> that is a long time to be in negotiations with someone. So I think that what's going on, given that Freddie just signed, is that Courtney Cox herself is going to definitely still sign on for Scream 7. I wouldn't write this down as an indication that she's not going to do 7. For everything that's been pointed out to us, I just want to engage with reality. The reality is all signs do currently point to her being in seven. If she's not in seven, then so be it. That would be a shock. But all signs have been pointing to her being in seven. Sources claiming that she's been training with Jennifer Aniston. Granted, she herself has not come out to confirm that. But all signs do point to Gail Weathers being back in Scream 7. I just think it'll be more of a supporting role similar to what she did in Scream 5 and Scream 6. And it's possible that Nev Campbell and Kevin Williamson and whoever else is probably 
heavily involved creatively, Guy Busick, are trying to write out a story that is so connected to Sydney that they're trying to figure out, okay, how do we fit Gail into this? Because you have the young stars and then you have Gail to worry about. The young stars, I would argue, are a little bit more of a priority because your young stars are definitely going to be who you lean on to carry you into the future, I would hope. So then now you're trying to tackle that mixed in with the fact that you want to bring Gail back because, of course, Gail's still alive. And how do you write her in in a meaningful way that maybe is just a little bit more impactful than what she did in five and six? I don't look at her words as her saying she's not doing the film. Not at all. There's too many signs to point to her doing it. I just think this is all just her being PR friendly. And within the next month or so, you'll get the announcement that she is signed. I, I could swear she did this similar around the time of Screen 5 signing. Her, Nev, and David, I think, did this. I could be mistaken. It's been three or four years at this point. But as far as David Dewey Riley coming back, I don't mind David coming back as Dewey Riley. I don't mind that. The problem, again, is I think that so many people, when they hear these things, they forget that this is a fictional world. Dead doesn't mean that the star can't come back. You can still come back and play a dead person. It's quite possible. The way Dewey could be utilized could be through so many different methods. A lot of you keep reaching out to me proposing this idea of doing the Roman AI voice stuff again, or at least just incorporating the weird voice changer that was presented in Scream 3, because today it would be much more realistic and maybe Ghostface talks as Dewey. That's how you can get David Arquette back, a small cameo. He doesn't even have to appear. Hearing his voice counts. David Arquette could get a voice cameo credit. That would be enough. Or you could see some type of flashback in Gail's mind where she reminisces on times of when Dewey was alive. But bringing him back to life, I'm not for that. I'm not for retconning five and six. I don't find it necessary. There has been nothing done in the Scream universe that still is worthy of being retconned. But let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below about Courtney Cox not being signed on for Scream 7. Do you think that's a bad sign? Do you think it's a good sign? Do you really not care because you're not even planning to go see the film and you just love hearing me talk about this project for whatever reason? <laughs> Let me know all of that down below. I, again, do not think that this means she is not going to do Scream 7 because she did talk about rewrites and the fact that they are always rewriting. I will say that's also not really something to hold in on or hone in on. Rewrites are just part of the filming process. They're probably going to be doing rewrites in the process of filming the movie. There's always going to be some sort of script changes. There's always going to be some sort of tweaks. That's just a part of how this process goes. I'm not going to look too much into that. She will be back nine times out of ten. If she's not, I don't mind eating my words because I have had enough of Gail. I've had enough of Sydney. Don't really care. Let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe. Turn on post notifications. Name this video in the description. I have links on my social media accounts. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there to let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.